Your thoughts are always reviews. You're watching our video review of the IN608. These are a pair of wireless headphones that actually don't operate via Bluetooth, but rather over 2.4G uh, wireless channels. And as a, re as a result, you have this wireless receiver that connects to a device like your smartphone, your tablet, your MP3 player, and it transmits the audio signal to the headphones uh, using that radio signal. Now, compared to Bluetooth, as a result, these headphones are a bit less expensive. Uh, they're priced at around $30 to $40 online, so they're a lot more costly effective for the device that you're getting, but they also have the ability to connect to devices using a wired connection. You have a pair of 3.5 millimeter jacks, so you can actually use these as a standard pair of headphones uh, that's wired if that's what you want to do. So for the cost, they do have uh, quite a bit going for it. Um, what's interesting about these pair in particular is that they claim to have a active noise reduction technology. Notice that it's not noise cancellation, but noise reduction, so they should insulate sound a little bit better even in noisier conditions. They are cushioned, they are studio-esque. Um, I'm not so sure about uh, putting in the IN608 model number on the side here, it kind of distracts from the visual effect, uh, in my opinion, but uh, what's also interesting is that they are foldable, so they are portable, they are easy to, to carry around with you, and they're also adjustable. So a bit, you know, a nice bit of features built in from the manufacturer. So taking a look at the design here, it runs on AAA batteries, so you don't have to have uh, you know any rechargeable batteries on the go. Uh, it can work with your television set, it works with a PC, uh, any device with a headphone port will work just fine with this device. It has 20 to 30 meter range, so pretty much the same range as Bluetooth, um, although in our past we found that it got a little bit more staticky as the range increased, uh, but still should be you know, about the same quality. Now with this type, type of the, this type of technology, with this type of 2.4G uh, radio signal, we found that there's a bit more distortion than traditional Wi-Fi or Bluetooth speakers uh, or headphones. Um, they, again, they are cheaper, but at the same time, they provide less clear audio quality, um, but they do have about the same, you know, kind of feature set at a fraction of the price. So it's a bit of a trade-off that you have to consider when picking up something like this. The packaging is pretty well documented, and you can find this on Amazon.com, and, and it arrives in about two to five days, so very quick shipping from the manufacturer's part. And inside, we have access to basically just the device itself. The aforementioned 3.5 mil jack that we'll take a look at in a moment. The audio receiver, and finally, we have access to the speakers, uh, or I should say that the devices themselves. Take a look at that by bringing it out of the box there. So taking a closer look at the design of the device in general, um, I would say that it's not too bad looking in terms of the design. Uh, again, they are swivel lens, so they kind of have the ability to be folded up and down. They are pretty durable. Uh, we have the audio receiver here, and it's pretty shiny. It's crafted out of this piano black finish, so it's going to be a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Uh, this means that if you want to use the wireless functionality, you have to carry along the receiver with you at all times. You can't lose this. If you're traveling, you have to bring it with you. Uh, on the plus side, it is pretty portable and small. So when you are using the wireless capability, we plug in the 3.5mm jack onto the audio input jack. And on the other side, we can plug it into an MP3 player or a phone. So if we have a phone over here, we would simply plug it into the top, start playing back YouTube videos or music on our phone. It's going to transmit it from here to the speakers, and I can listen to them uh, on, the, on the go. So it's pretty convenient and easy to use. On here, we also have access to power on and off switches, the audio switch, and essentially that's it. It takes two AAA batteries on the inside over here, uh, and battery life lasts about six months before you have to replace it. So pretty good battery life in terms of performance. Now, in case you don't want to use the wireless capabilities, we would simply plug in the 3.5mm jacks to the bottom of the, of the device's uh, headphone ports, and now we have just a traditional pair of speakers. We basically have a corded headphone uh, that's, v that's kind of DJ studio-esque and allows us to connect and listen to music using our phone, using our tablet, in a very traditional manner like so. The design of the devices themselves are actually pretty comfortable. The cushions are nice and comfy. They have about half an inch in terms of thickness, so they are pretty nice and cushioned. Uh, they feel pretty good when you're wearing them. For extended periods of time, they provide a bit more pressure than I'd like. So when I'm listening to them on the train or perhaps on a plane, I find that after about three to four hours of listening, my, eye, my ears got a bit more strain. Uh, it's quite tight when it goes over your head, so it's an area that could be improved on by the manufacturer. As far as sound quality is considered, it's uh, surprisingly good for the cost. Again, the connection here isn't gold-plated or anything, it's a simple silver-plated silver one, so 
it's not anything too impressive, but at the same time, we found that when playing back our music tracks, even from YouTube, uh, sound quality was surprisingly crisp, and uh, it offered pretty rich basses, um, and it, it packs a heavy punch if you're playing back songs that want a lot of bass. So overall, it's a pretty nicely performing pair of uh, headphones. They're dynamic. The sound quality is surprisingly good for the money. The comfort level, uh, again, you have quite a bit of adjusting to do, so you can put them flat like so when you're traveling, you can fold them up, uh, and you can also change the headband length uh, depending on the size of your, again, you know, of your head. So if you want to have um, something a bit more comfortable, you can extend that part, you can make it smaller. There's also a cushion on the very top of the device that prevents the device from uh, hitting the top of your head. So it's actually pretty comfortable to wear as far as providing padding around your head when you're using them. Now the actual batteries over here are actually located on the left hand side and you put in two more AAA batteries here so you need a total of four AAA batteries. This one also takes about six months before you have to replace them. On the other side it's bare except for power on and off switches and an LED indicator to tell you when the device is turned on and uh, this light will illuminate when it's connected to um, your Wi-Fi receiver over here. Something to know that you also have a scan control over here so that allows you to scan up and down. There's also a automatic volume controller as well so you can actually place the volume up and down up and down uh, when it's connected to the wireless receiver so some more features to note. Now when you're using the standalone headphone feature without using the wireless functionality you don't need to have any batteries connected on here hence the reason why we don't have any batteries in here at the moment. Uh, there are none included in the box but uh, again, if you don't want to use them as wireless speakers, you, wireless headphones, you just want to use them as traditional wired ones, you don't need any batteries to operate these. They just act as traditional regular headphones. Overall, for the money, I would say that you definitely are getting a lot. Uh, for, for on sale this season, they retail for as low as $20 to $30. And at that price point, you get, you get something that's pretty decent in terms of sound quality, in terms of the design. Um, as far as performance is considered, the wired connection is uh, the best in terms of sound quality. If you want to use the wireless receiver, the sound quality gets decreased a bit. Uh, it provides a bit more static, but it is better than some competitors we've tested in the past. So sound quality is still acceptable even when you're using the wireless capability, which is uh, not bad at all considering it's 2.4G. Overall, if you want something that's uh, portable, it's easy to use, you don't care about the fact that there is uh, a bit of an obnoxious logo printed on the front here, uh, it still functions pretty well as a pair of headphones, uh, and overall we would recommend this product if, again, if you're looking for something that offers both wireless and a wired connection in a one, two-in-one design, uh, take a closer look at the IN 60A pair of headphones. You can check out our full written review on our website. Thanks for watching this video review here at OS Reviews. These, this has been the top global um, Wireless Hi-Fi Studio Headphones, the IN608 series. Thanks for watching.